Violet Evergarden is one of the most emotionally moving works of fiction I have ever had the pleasure of witnessing. With very human struggles from episode to episode that never failed to make me feel for the characters, all wrapped up in the most beautiful animation I have ever laid eyes upon, this show has become one of my favorites since I watched it a year ago. However, none of it would be complete without the titular main character, Violet Evergarden. At first glance, Violet could seem to be an iteration of the unfortunately common Mary Sue archetype. She is incredibly capable of learning new tasks within a day, and is just inherently skilled. However, her true character comes in where she fails, and that is in her emotional maturity. From the moment she could even comprehend the world around her, Violet was raised as a child soldier and living weapon. Fighting battle after battle and not even being treated as a human being, she developed machine-like precision in any physical activity and a borderline obsession with following orders from her higher-ups. That's all she needed in order to survive and fight, after all. After years of fighting, killing, and being treated like she was less than human, she had developed absolutely no emotional understanding of her own situation or of anyone she met. It certainly made killing a lot easier. This began to change once she met Gilbert Bougainvillea, a major in the army that she was appointed to serve under. Unlike everyone else, however, Gilbert treated her like an actual person, developing a close bond with her that I would liken to a father and daughter. And while she didn't yet understand this, nor did she openly show it, Violet actually began to... feel. She felt grateful for him. She felt compassionate for him. She even began to feel love for him. She also felt anguish when he was hurt in the line of duty enough for her to sacrifice both of her arms in an attempt to save him. Flash forward and the war is over, with the Major's fate remaining unknown to her. Without the war or the Major, Violet had no purpose, that is, until she discovered the Auto Memories doll, a job for girls to travel the country to write letters on behalf of others in order to convey their true feelings. This is exactly the one kind of job that Violet would not thrive at. She can barely comprehend her own feelings, much less those of anyone else. Even still, it was the job she wanted, because more than anything else, she wanted to understand the last thing Gilbert said to her. I love you. Violet's journey to understanding what emotions are as an auto-memories doll is the emotional crux of the anime. Before she can learn about her own feelings, she needs to understand her client's feelings first, and they definitely teach her a lot. From witnessing the love between a princess and her betrothed firsthand, to watching a young man realize his own passions for the first time in his life, to helping a middle-aged playwright come to terms with the loss of his daughter, Violet received no shortage of lessons in emotions, but her largest turning point as a character is when she fully begins to comprehend death. In one episode, she mentions to one of her clients that she would rather be dead than live in a world without the Major. In the next, she meets with the aforementioned playwright who had lost both his wife and daughter and is trying to overcome that grief. These two interactions, of course, make it much more crushing when she finally has to learn that Gilbert was dead the entire time. After being told this, she begins to realize all of the death that she herself had caused in the past, and the guilt begins to overwhelm her. As she put it, she was burning from these sins. What's more... She felt lost knowing that she would never be able to follow the Major's orders ever again, never be able to see him again. Every choice was now her own, all her sins hers to bear. Truth be told, I've been thinking about how to describe the turbulent emotions she went through during these episodes as I'm writing this, but honestly, I don't think I could properly convey them. They're best left watched. Later on, though, when one of the people that she changed the life of with her letters asks her to write a letter for him in order to thank the client that she wrote on behalf of the first time, she begins to reflect on all of the good that she has caused as an auto-memories doll as well. She may have been a weapon in the past, but that's not what she was anymore. She was someone who brought joy and happiness to others. There is one scene in Violet Evergarden that never fails to make me tear up at the very least. That scene is when, with the assistance of her own boss and Gilbert's friend Claudia Hodgins, Violet begins to realize her own self-worth. She may have caused death in the past, and that cannot be erased. But all of the good she has caused as a doll can't be erased either. 
Watching Violet's journey to becoming a human being touched my heart more than most shows ever have. It also helped that we got to see her continue to take jobs following this episode, both of which involve a dying client. She seems to act the same as prior to her revelation, but she's really holding back tears, now able to comprehend the death in front of her. Even still, she's able to sort through these emotions much more healthily, and she did her best to help their loved ones with their own grief this time. But above all else, in the end, she learned what I love you means.